Covering St. John's County now where operations at Creekside High School have returned to normal this morning. Remember, 19 students and a teacher were sent home because of what was described as a stomach virus. This was yesterday. Parents and students tell us that they think the number of sick is actually even higher because students noticed some of their peers were absent yesterday and they could hear others throwing up in the bathroom. Joining me now is Dr. Mobin Rathor. He is the chief of pediatric infectious disease and immunology at Wolfson Children's Hospital. Good morning. Thank you, Doc, for being here. Morning, it's always good Doc. to see you. So when you first heard this and you heard the symptoms, vomiting, obviously, that's some reports of diarrhea. Was there something that stood out in your mind as what it might be? Well, I think it's obviously an infection is always the thing that you think about and the infection could be different types and of course a viral infection in the middle of winter is what you uh, think is most likely that can cause such an uh, infection that spreads looks like qu quickly. So uh, the, the fact that so many students appear to have been sickened at the same time, does that, does that suggest something to you? <coughs> Well, it, it could be from a common source, common food source. You know, you hear about that a family picnic or something they have and they get usually in the summer. Uh, but in this time of the year, it could be uh, a viral, norovirus can do something like that, that we hear usually on the cruise, uh, ships. cruise ships and such. But influenza can also cause diarrhea. Uh, so we may not, we may never know what caused this. But I think the important thing is to remember that we are in the middle of the flu season. So you can get the flu vaccine. At least you know that it's not the flu that influenza that's causing the vomiting and diarrhea. It can cause that also. But in, in, in general, when we, I hear something like that, it's a viral infection in, in, in December. You worry about norovirus. I'm sure the state is going to look at it. The health department is going to look at it to make sure it's not that. So you have parents now whose children, for example, are not sick, who are hearing this this morning thinking <clears throat> many of them decided not to send their children from what we're hearing to school. But that said, for those who did go to school today or for those who maybe came into contact with the students who are sick, what should they be doing? Well, I think the <clears throat> first important thing is if your child is sick with vomiting and diarrhea, they should not go to school. Right. <laughs> Keep them home. Uh, and if we suspect norovirus, they need to stay home two days after the symptoms resolve. So that putting that aside, if, you're, if you are at school, it should be the common sense thing, good hand hygiene, uh, you know, wash your hand. Uh, you know, the food, of course, is always so should be well cooked, should be washed. Uh, if somebody is sick, uh, don't go in close to them. They should be sort of sent home right away. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot you can do. If it's influenza, which can cause that, and if you've not gotten your vaccine, go to your doctor and get the vaccine. That's the one thing you can do to be sure that influenza is not responsible, which can cause, you know, we usually say influenza causes respiratory infections, pneumonia, but influenza can cause vomiting and diarrhea also. So I think that's one thing you can also do, especially since we don't know exactly what's causing it right now. I, I bet and those parents and students are probably concerned because, you know, how are these kinds of viruses, as an example, spread? Do you have yeah. to worry mm -hmm. if you were sitting four seats away from the student that you heard got sick or, <laughs> or that you shared a drink with them or something so, like that? So two different things. For If it's influenza causing this, yes, it's the context. So at least three to six feet away from them would help. Uh, again, if you have influenza, you shouldn't be going to school, but right. often you don't know. Uh, if it's a foodborne illness like norovirus or a staph infection that's causing that, then it's good hand hygiene, you know, uh, make sure that there's, uh, you don't eat the contaminated food. But I think that the good hand hygiene and well-cooked food, uh, especially if it's seafood, uh, which can cause norovirus infection, washing all the vegetables and all the fruits, uh, washing them well is another thing. Uh, other than that, you know, just the, your usual, if you're coughing, cover your cough with your elbow. Uh, and again, as I said, we are in the midst of influenza season, uh, whereas norovirus and other infections are episodic, they occur and we can control them. Uh, influenza goes on for a long period of time, so it's very important. Unfortunately, we don't have a vaccine for norovirus. We are working on it. Once we have that, that'll be a good, good thing to get too. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting because then um, if someone, let's say, went to school with a child who has been sick and it, they're not feeling any symptoms, is there a time period by which they might, you know, are they out of the woods, so to speak? Or, you know, do their parents need to kind of pay close yeah. attention to them for the next couple of days? Well, I think they need to pay close attention next couple of days. Uh, the, the challenge here is we don't know what's causing this. <laughs> it's always this. the hard part. Right. And I think if it's the staph infection toxin mediated that usually comes in 24 hours of and then it resolves fast, norovirus, norovirus has tendency to last a little bit longer. So yes, you can, I mean, with the weekend coming, keep an eye on your kids, make sure they're, well, you know, if they're having diarrhea, vomiting, you know, keep them well hydrated. Uh, but I think, uh, again, if, if they come to your house, make sure that you are following good hand hygiene. 
uh, 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 hand hygiene techniques because it can spread in the household also. Yeah, and you don't want everybody else in the house getting sick, particularly exactly. if there's any young children Especially there. Especially the holidays coming. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dr. Rathor, as always, thank you for being here. Do appreciate awesome. it. We'll be right back.